My name is Ellie Domit and I'm going to be presenting our study into the effects of captions, transcripts and reminders on learning outcomes and lecture capture use. Before providing detail on what we did, it's helpful just to give some of the context. So lectures and their capture is highly popular with students, but there's variation in how students use lecture capture. Some will dip in and out during term time, others use it entirely for revision, and many are unaware of the more complex functions beyond the ability to change the speed and pause and restart. Add to this that new features are arising in the technology all the time, and we can see that students may not be using it optimally. Captions and transcripts are one of the more recent features that has arisen, and they're very helpful for accessibility purposes, but also they align with the cognitive theory of multimedia, that is, the benefits that arise from having auditory and visual information presented at the same time. There is little research into the effects of captions and transcripts on perception of the utility of lecture capture and on student performance, and therefore that was the primary aim of this work. However, because we were aware that students don't always use the tools available to them, we also factored in the receipt of reminder emails in which students were given guidance on how to access the various functions. The current study used a randomised crossover design in which students were allocated into either a group receiving captions and transcripts, CT plus, or those not, CT minus. Within this, they were further subdivided into groups receiving reminders R plus or not R minus. Due to the nature of the module, we were able to have a crossover design so that the group switched at the halfway point. We collected a range of different types of data. At the halfway point and the end of the module, we had analytics data on the number of videos viewed and the proportion viewed. We also had various self-report ratings from students and a marker of their performance on um, MCQ style assessment of the lecture content for the different halves of the module. After the module was completed, we also conducted some semi-structured interviews. There's a lot of data on this screen and I put it on here so that you have the option to digest it in your own time if you want to. But to bring out the key points, the analytics and the self-report data showed no differences between those receiving captions and transcripts and those not in terms of how often and how much of the lecture capture they were accessing. Self-report data suggested the availability of captions and transcripts did not impact on the ease of use of lecture capture either, but there was a trend towards it being perceived as more supportive of learning when the captions and transcripts were available. And those in the group receiving them were more likely to recommend the use of lecture capture to a friend. There was no difference in terms of the functions they used, whether they received captions and transcripts or not, but all students found them useful to some degree. So um, we have quite a large proportion, over half, reporting captions and transcripts to be extremely useful. Despite this, there was no difference in performance measures between the groups. As with the previous slide, there's a lot of data here which you can look at in your own time if you wish. The key point to take away is that there were no effects of reminder emails on self-reports or analytics data in terms of how often the lecture capture was being accessed, for how long, the functions used and the perceived helpfulness. Most students found reminders helpful to some degree, but there were some that did not find them useful at all. And there were no differences in performance between the two groups. The qualitative data supported previous studies in terms of the general perceptions of lectures and lecture capture. But in terms of the value of captions and transcripts, the data from the semi-structured interviews suggests that students are making use of the joint audio and visual information, particularly where the audio is poor in the recording. They noted that the availability of captions and transcripts allows them to work more efficiently searching um, automatically or scanning the transcript, for example. However, these have to be accurate for them to be useful. They reported less usefulness for the perceived value of reminders. They tended to ignore the email reminders and um, felt that if they did get them, they should be at a lower frequency. In conclusion, the current study did not show any effects of captions and transcripts and reminders on how often students were using lecture capture or how they used it. There were also no effects on student performance. However, the qualitative work did suggest that captions and transcripts may be useful to students um, because they can draw on audio and visual input and work more efficiently. 
some of the references used in preparing this presentation.